he is. Come on, baby, get out of that. Down there deep in the mush, he's still fighting. Oh, choked it too, look at this. We've got a new pad crasher, the disco ball pad crasher. Let's break this down, why, when, and where, when you're gonna throw this thing. So this is the Booyah pad crasher in the disco ball color. Throwing a frog, typically you think of traditional colors? No, this one looks just like a shad or some form of bait fish. So why do you want a pad crasher color that looks like a disco ball? Because it's mimicking forage perfectly like a bait fish or a shad. Any type of bait fish, gizzard, herring, blue herring, whatever it is, it's gonna mimic that perfectly. Anytime shad spawn all the way through the fall. So we are fishing right now post spawn. We are post spawn, all of the fish that we're catching are post spawn. You can tell they're, they're skinny, they're lean, they've been beat up and they're feeding up. Still back in here in the jungle because they're kind of messing with some fry, garden fry, things like that. And I wanna be able to target these fish in that area without getting hung up and worry about losing my bait. So how do you work the bait? How do you work the disco ball pad crasher? Today we're having to go really fast. It's a reaction bite. So what I'm doing is I'm basically moving my rod tip fast and I'm moving that bait, bait fast. And it's hopping, working left to right throughout the water. And what that's doing is it's triggering those bass to force feed them to come eat. I'll stop it for just a second and then I'll come right back in and start working it. And that's just a trigger mechanism for those fish, making them want to eat that bait. The other way is to slow it down and do that more slow action like walking the dog. So if you get thick in the brush like we're doing, you want to, you want to entice those fish, make them angry. Twitch, pause, twitch it, pause again. Twitch it, pause, work it left to right. And what's great about this bait is when you hit it left to right, you get your slack just right, that bait will not move far forward. It will stay right there in that strike zone. And when you get a really good piece of cover, like a big tree or a stump where you have a lot of confidence that there's a fish there, you can work that bait really slow and get them to take that bite. There he is. Come on, baby. <laughs> Oh, it's a decent fish. Get out. Now see, if I would have been throwing anything else in there but the disco ball pack crusher, I would have never got that fish out. That's why you focus on something that you can throw in the cover. That's why Jason Christie wanted the disco ball pack crusher.